Hi folks. Now I'm going to take just a few minutes here to try and help you with the formatting requirements for your writing assignments. Now these are just the basic MLA components. Depending on which one of my classes you are in, you may also have the option to use APA as your style. But for most of you, MLA is going to be what you need to know how to do for my classes. So let me show you how to quickly set up the formatting parameters for an essay. All right, there are a couple of things that you have to do. They're not going to be automatically set for you. One of those is you need to make sure that your margins are set properly. So at the top, choose Page Layout and then select Margins. Your margins need to be set to one inch all around. So look for where it says one inch top, bottom, left, and right, and select that. Now your margins for your paper are set properly. Another thing that you want to do is make sure that you have your header information properly inserted. This is going to be your last name and the page numbers for your paper. So what you want to do here, and watch carefully, is you want to get your cursor up into the top part of the paper and double click. This gets you into the header section of your paper. I'm going back to the Home tab and I'm going to choose here in the Paragraph ribbon Align Text Right. Now the first thing I want to do is insert my page numbers. So, Insert, top of the page, Page Numbers, Top of Page, and then you're going to want to select plane number 3. This is going to put that page number all the way to the right hand margin. Once your page number is in, type your last name. And then put a space between your last name and the page number. Now there's one more thing you have to do. Select your last name and the page number. Go back to the Home tab and make sure that you have Times New Roman and 12 selected. Now your page numbers and your last name are set properly in the header. To get back to the document, double click underneath the header line. Alright, now you're back in the body of your paper. Again, you want to make sure that you have selected Times New Roman and 12 for your font. The first thing you want to do is type your name your first name and your last name. Now you want to include your professor's name, whatever that is. The next thing you want to do is include the course name or the course number, whichever works for you. The last thing you want to put here is the date and the date has to be formatted in a very particular way. It's the day, the month, and then the year. No commas, no nothing, just like that. Now, your entire paper has to be double spaced. There are no additional spaces between any sections of an MLA formatted paper. So if you don't already have double spacing selected, you can do that now. Notice how I'm highlighting all of the information. I'm now going to go to the Paragraph tab, and I'm going to make sure that I have zero before spacing, zero after spacing, and double spacing set here. Click OK. Notice how now I have double spacing. The next thing you want to do is include your title. The title is centered on the page. Your title needs to be an original title for your paper, whatever you want that to be. Again, hit the Enter key one time. Now we want to go back up to the Paragraph ribbon at the top and select Align Text Left. This gets us now to the body of our paper. Every paragraph is indented one half an inch. You can use the tab key on your computer keyboard to accomplish this. Now you're ready to start typing your paper. Okay, now you can see here I've typed my first paragraph. I have one inch margins 
everything is double spaced uniformly all the way throughout the entire paper and my next paragraph will start right under this first paragraph. Your paper needs to follow this format all the way through. So the only other thing you have to factor in here is your works cited page and your in-text citations. Otherwise, this is how you do MLA formatting. I hope this helps. Take care. Bye-bye.